If you find something that you love, there's always a use for it. Hi, I'm Matilda Good and I'm at the Oxfam Superstore today to come and have a hunt around. Look what I found. These are great. That's quite fun. Beef dripping. <laughs> New toothbrush mug. <laughs> Look at these. $3.49. These are quite cheap. The whole tea set is going for £20. Amazing. I love buying books. It's like someone's treasure. I love old cigar boxes. It's a much more effective way of supporting the circular economy by buying fabric that's sort of already off cut. And by shopping or donating to Oxfam, you're helping people fight poverty around the world. I've just unloaded all the pieces that I picked from the Oxfam Superstore, so I'm going to have a bit of a play around today and try them in situ in the home. Should we make some match? Or this? Look, $8.99. I think it's important to remember when you're trying to source pieces how you can add to it. So some of the fabric that we found at the superstore, we've made into a cushion that's gone onto a wicker sofa that we found there and suddenly it brings it back to life and sort of a bit more relevant to the modern day. That's nice. It's really nice to buy bits of china and cutlery secondhand. I think it's kind of got that story behind it and it's so cost effective. That's nice, that's really nice, that one. We're just using these wedgewood plates, which are quite a nice way of decorating shelves. I actually kind of like mixing up. It's sort of, it's a bit more fun and feels less formal, I guess. I'd serve like olives on these or just have them for like a little jewelry trinket dish or something. And there's always a use for something like that. Shopping secondhand and shopping at Oxfam, it should be considered whenever you're trying to find something.